what are some of the marketing campaigns a restaurant could activate and track today? Okay, in today, the easiest thing is loyalty. So loyalty programs, um, you know, knowing who your customers are and, and how often they're coming in and rewarding them. So loyalty is one of the first things that you could do. Facebook advertising and social media advertising, like what you do, Mark, is another thing that's very easy. It's cost effective and you can get, you can see the results instantly. It's not like, and we can target who we're, you know, which customers we're looking for. Facebook and, and those kind of um, online companies are so different to what we had, you know, 15 years ago with a newspaper where you go, yeah, there's 110,000 distribution. Whereas Facebook now you can go, yep, I want men between the ages of 18 and 25 and they live in this particular area and they spend this much money and they like these kind of things. You can actually really nail down who your customers are now and get a message directly to those people. And that's a beautiful thing now, what we can do with, with social media advertising. Um, other things like promotions, you know, your Valentine's Day, or I think where are we now? We've got Father's Day coming up in September. We've got Halloween coming up. These are promotions that you can advise, you know, let your, let your customers know and let your community know, I'm doing something special for these particular days. Um, and videos, videos are another really good way of um, promoting business of so saying, you know, this is what's going on. We, we're making this gin cocktail. We've got this fantastic, fantastic cocktail of the month or how we make this beautiful meal. These are ways that we can promote the business. So very, very um, popular with videos. Third party apps are another really popular way. What I would be looking with the third party apps like your AI menus and delivery apps like Uber Eats and DoorDash, which is really coming upon now is utilizing those platforms. They're using, they're spending a lot of money um, with promoting, especially Uber Eats now, they've got the Wiggles, I've seen their latest series of commercials. Utilize those platforms and, and can try and convert those customers that use that platform to your own so that they become on your own email database and you approach them. So don't just have that they constantly, you know, let those customers know that you would prefer them coming directly to you. So, right, uh, but use uh, their services, you're paying for it. And it's a good way to onboard them as your own customer then for, you know, not a lot of cost. I mean, um, um, I gotta agree with you. Even, even when we speak to a third party, a lot of um, a lot of business owners or restaurant owners, they, they do have that understanding. If someone is ordering uh, uh, from a third party app, it's not good for them. And, and, and they feel like they're the victim and so on. I mean, I, I completely understand uh, and feel for when they feel like they are in that situation. But then if we look at um, the big boys like McDonald's and, and uh, Domino's and so on, these people that have billions of dollars to invest in their marketing and advertising to push people to order direct from them and not having to be on those third party apps. But guess what? They are on those third party apps. Uh, one is because they understand people buy based on different situations. They also know that their marketing and branding counts on two main things in, in the advertising and the marketing world and they are mental availability and physical availability so mm -hmm. if you if you are not on top of the customer mind you know you're you're out of the picture if you're yeah. not physically available and uh, physically it doesn't mean like something that i can touch and feel but physically now it's all digital and physical so if someone is not on the third party app then all of a sudden you got someone to try someone else food and they might like it, and all of a sudden they might get used to go and dine in person at that restaurant or at, at that place because all of a sudden uh, you they were on Uber Eats, you weren't, yeah. you know. And yeah. that that's that's one thing. And the other thing is the whole reason they enter those third party apps it's because they're opening up for new markets. So uh, and it's instead of opening up a new location or a pop up which could cost thousands, thousands, thousands of dollars, all of a sudden you could just turn on, turn on an app and you've opened up a new market. Yeah. Um, so um, I, look, this is a, a um, we could talk about this for days and days, um, but let's uh, move on. To yeah, <laughs> I think coming down to the third party apps is you need to look, an owner needs to look at it as a marketing strategy. 
right? That's really exactly. where it needs to come in. And that's where spending that money comes out of your marketing budget, not out of, you know, your operational budget. And it's how exactly. you look at it. So I think a lot of people are thinking, oh my God, I'm spending 30% or however, what percentage is. And it's like, oh, you know, that money is just, I'm losing that money. And it's rather than looking at, it is a marketing strategy. It is a way to reach new customers, and yes. if you look at it in that way, you can then, then convert them over to that you never had access to those customers before. That's so right. and that's the way to look at it. With those and if you're a, if you're apps. a national if you're a national brand, uh, you're probably more likely not to increase your prices on the third party apps. But if no. you're a sm- but if you're a, a small place, uh, uh, most places today they're increasing their uh, prices on the system, so it is somehow profitable. You know. Um, and they're doing that. So why can't you do that and say, you know what, we've opened up to a new market. Those, some of those people, they will never come and dine in, in here. Let's work out a way that that becomes profitable for us. And to be honest, you know what, I don't care how many apps, how much money you spend on your own apps, how much money you spend on, on your own marketing, you will never convert 100% of those audiences to come over to you. It's not yeah. going to happen. You know, it's just it's well. People... You've you've got the you've got the brand alliance, right? So you're aligning with an Uber Eats or a DoorDash. They've got they're a big platform. They they've got their own brand, and to be connected with those shows that you have met that standard because they wouldn't have people, you know, businesses that don't meet a certain standard. So you know, it already um, creates trust in the consumer's you know mind of going well. If they're on that platform, they must be good. That's that's right. So and, and you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to ultra convenience. It's a a, a, a marketplace. People uh, every time they feel like something, they open up that magic app and they order what they feel like today. But if they download your app, you only have just one cuisine, one thing, and there's not much they can do on there other than ordering your food. So look, um, I'm pretty sure this this topic has been uh, spoken about and discussed uh, in so many different ways. But it's still important to talk about that today because yeah. you, you never know. Some people don't, still don't get why they should be on those third-party apps. Yeah. 